Hello, good morning. Actually, it's 3 o'clock. It's too early at the moment, or should I say, good early morning to all of you. And today is my day off, and I'm here now inside the Metro Bakery and Cafe Dining Room. And it's a perfect place and time to make a new episode of vlogging. So, do you want to see or do you want to know how are the bakers making a sourdough inside the bakery kitchen? Well, stay tuned to this channel and I will show you the whole process from scratch up to the finished product and how to make a sourdough from our standard operating system or SOP only here in Metro Bakery and Cafe. Now, we will start our preparations such as weighing the flour, salt, culture, and water. We have only 4 ingredients to make a sourdough bread. Here's how. To start up, we will weigh the flour according to how much bread order from the shop. In this profession as a baker, it is not only know how to make bread, but we do also a little bit of mathematics. Where we compute before we start, or we mix our dough just to make it sure that we are not over exceeding or more extra dough just to avoid wastage for our costing purposes. Add some salt for boosting the flavor to the bread. Salt plays the role in tightening the gluten structure and adding strength to the dough. Then put the sourdough culture. By the way, a sourdough culture starter is a simple mixture of flour and water which acts as a natural leaving agent. The flour and the water of ratio of 1 is to 1, or for example, for 1 kilogram of flour, then add a 1 liter of water. Once combined, the culture will begin to ferment, which cultivates the natural yeast found in our environment. And oh, maybe soon I will make uh, a video exclusively all about sourdough culture because it's a long process or some sort of step-by-step -step procedure to make this one. And then add some water. And here's some tip. Upon using the right temperature of the water, where it depends on the seasons or how you feel in your surroundings, it's either if it's cold or warm, or should I call it the baker's instinct. For example, during summer, I barely use cold ice water. And in the winter, I use not too cold water enabled for my dough to have a constant desired temperature of at least 25 degrees centigrade or Celsius after mixing. Now, how do we know if the dough is ready? Simply checking it. Get a piece of dough, then stretch it. If the dough becomes elastic and shiny, that's the right time that the dough is ready and done. We should follow this kind of procedure or else it will ruin your whole production. For me, the mixing stage is one of the most important stages in bread making process. Mixing with cooler water will slow down the fermentation and can extend the proving process. Ultimately, the dough will equalize the temperature of its surrounding environment, but you can increase or reduce your proving time by a few hours just by adjusting and starting temperature of your dough. Then resting and proving. Both terms are similar because they refer to fermenting process involved in bread making where the dough rises and grows in size. Now, after 2 hours of resting the dough, as you've noticed, the dough rises twice of its size. And then, the cutting, weighing, and portioning. In this stage, practice is a must. For you to be more precise, accurate, and level up your speed in cutting. But be careful because always be mindful that the metal cutter blade is very sharp too. So be careful with your fingers.
So that's it. This is how we do to all the processing method that we are working in Baker Kitchen. So if you think you like this video, just click that thumbs up and smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell as well for an update for the next incoming video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next vlog.